Hey everyone, welcome to Indie Studio and welcome to the brand new episode of Photoshop Tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be learning some tips and tricks to create a simple poster design as always in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's jump to the tutorial. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, go to File, New and I will just go for 1080 over 1350. Let's put the resolution 300, color mode RGB and just uh, just change the bitrate to 16 bit because uh, that's what I like to do it just to keep it uh, more cleaner look or more get a crispy look and just leave the rest as default and let's click on create and this will be a very simple technique like if you don't have much time to make a design for your clients it might be a really helpful tips so let's just drag and drop this image over here let's minimize this one for now and like always right click convert to smart object and let's get the another image like this one i'll just keep it as a background so let's go over here let's convert it as a oh sorry let's convert it as a smart object and mm -mm -mm, let's make it a little smaller Control t let's drop down and let's put it all the way to the bottom let's Hide the visibility for layer one for now. Select the layer two. Control T. Let's uh, Control T. Let's rotate it a little bit. Uh, yep. Maybe something like this. All right. Now let's turn on the visibility for this one. And Control T. Let's make it. Let's rotate it on the same way. Let's make it a little bigger. Yep, now let's do some adjustment and uh, let's control T, let's make it a more bigger and let's keep it like that. And yeah, it's just for now, maybe we can do some adjustment later. Now let's uh, drag and drop this image over here and let's make it, let's convert it to the smart object first and let's make it a little bigger, control T. All right, maybe something like that. Oh, maybe let's make it a little. Maybe so. Let me make it a little smaller. Maybe something like that. All right. Now let's create a rectangle. So go over here, click on rectangle tool. I'll just keep the fill white for now, and we can change it later anyway. So let's go over here. Let's drag and drag and let's create a stroke all right now let's make a copy alt and drag so yep again one more alt drag again one more select all this rectangle and let's make a group Control G I'll just hide it for now because maybe we never know we might need it later and let's make a copy Control J and let's unhide it let's convert let's merge this group and let's go to the filter go to liquify and from here like we can change this into like uh, different kind of shapes so yep let's see now let's click on ok select the layer go over here let's add a color overlay and then i'll just make it something like this yellow let's make it a really dark yellow this all right and then let's keep it under this layer Control t let's do some adjustment yep maybe something like that all right now let's make a copy Control j convert the smart object and let's make it a little smaller Control t and maybe let's change it Maybe something like that. You yeah, keep on playing around like whatever you like to do it. Uh, let's make a one more copy. Control J. Let's keep it above the layer. And control T. Let's see how we can, what we can do. Yep, maybe something like like this. 
I don't know, is it looking good or not? Let's make a copy one more. Copy, Control J, Control T. We have this safety thing, so just turn on this one. Let's make a copy again, Control J. And right click, let's merge this group, and then let's again do some liquify let's make it a little bigger mm -hmm. all right let's go with maybe something like this see all right let's click ok now let's add a color overlay again and yep control T let's change it maybe something like this now let's do some color adjustment for this layer so select this layer click new layer go to fill edit edit fill and let's go for 50 percent gray and let's right click uh, create a clipping max let's change it to soft light and let's go for dozen burn so let's burn these parts I like to make it a little darker. Alright, this is what we have before and this is what we have now. Let's do a little dust. Go over here, let's add a little dust on his face. And maybe we can do it later too. Let's add some on this side edges. Alright. Let's add some over here. Over here too. Now let's do a color adjustment. Select this layer. Go to filter. Go to camera raw filter. And let's decrease the highlights. Maybe something like this. Let's increase the shadows. Yep. And let's increase the clarity. Let's increase the texture and let's go over here. Let's drop down the vibrance. Mm -hmm. All right, and let's increase the exposure a little bit. Yep, this is what I was looking for. And now let's go to the color mixture and let's drop down the saturation for orange and maybe yellow a little bit, and maybe red a little bit. Yep, and let's drop down a little bit of blues. Now let's go to the detail tab, let's increase the sharpening and let's increase the noise reduction. And let's increase the color noise, color noise reduction too. So, yep. Let's increase the exposure a little bit. Maybe something like this. Now select this layer, go to the filter, let's apply a camera or filter. And for this one, I would like to increase the clarity, increase the texture. It's just a little bit, just drop down the vibrance just to match with our main image. And let's drop down the highlights too. Let's drop down the shadows a little bit just to make it a little darker. Let's click OK. So, yep, this is looking pretty good. Now, let's do some adjustment. Select this there, Control T. Let's put it somewhere over here. All right, let's try to line up with this line. So right click, click on wrap. And let's do it. All right, and let's do the same thing from here. All right. And maybe like select both layers and let's bring it a little down. Let's see how it looks. Yep, maybe something like that. And let's do some adjustment again. So. Select this there, Control T. Let's move it a little up. Maybe rotate a little bit. Now let's add a curve. So let's add a new layer first. Go over here, add a new layer. Go to brush. Let's go for white brush. And let's create a clipping max. And let's add kind of blue effect over here. Now 
on that side. Maybe just you know, over here. All right, now let's create a curve. So go over here, add a curve. Let's drop down the curve, something like that. Maybe over here too. Let's make it a little dark. Just keep the highlight the same. All right. Now let's click on layer max and let's fill it with black. Let's go to the breast and make sure the color is white. And then now let's get some of this part a little darker. Select the very bottom layer. Let's make, let's move this a little bit, or maybe let's increase the size a little bit. And let's get rid of these little hard edges over here. So select over here, create a clipping max, go to brush, and let's go for a soft brush and make sure the color is black. And maybe let's make go for color lookup, and from here click on load my cine LUT so you can download this LUT from the description list below so select this one let's drop down the opacity because it's too much all right this is pretty okay now let's go over here let's do some color adjustment so go over here apply a channel mixture let's go to the red and let's drop down the red a little bit all right now let's increase the green yep. it's a subtle touch all right now let's go to blue let's around here and let's yep and let's do some Job. Now let's go to the green channel again. And let's play around with some reds. So yep. Well, let's do some adjustment over here. Let's select this uh, uh, pattern. So here we have. Let's do some adjustment over here. Let's add a circle. Circle over here. Let's go over here and let's. Let's drag and drop uh, this glow over here. Let's change it to screen or soft light. I think soft light looks good. Or maybe let's change it to, I think screen is better. Okay, let's go for a screen. Control T, let's make it a little smaller. All right, and let's keep it somewhere over here, like, uh, Somewhere over here. Let's uh, drag and drop this logo over here. And let's create a clipping max. Control T. Let's make it a little smaller so that it fits over here. And let's keep it in the center. So select this select this eclipse and let's add a text over here. Yes. This eclipse a little smaller, maybe something like that. And all right, now let's add some other text. So, and I'll just create oh, one more layer. Let's keep this a little darker and go to brush, and I'll just paint it just to give us kind of pinating look, something like that. And let's drop down the opacity a little bit. All right, now let's go over here. Let's merge everything. Control Shift E. Let's merge this one. And now let's go to the filter and go to the. That's a new filter for Photoshop. So go over here, click on this one. And let's go to the style and transform. Let's enable this one. And there are like uh, so many good stuffs over here. Let's. Uh... Let's go for some of these one. Let's try it how it looks. Actually, this is looking 
I don't know. This is looking something. Uh, better. Let's go for this one. Let's see how it looks. It's kind of a photo effect, so yeah. Uh, no, let's go for this one. And it takes a little time to uh, load. And let's click on preserve color. Color, so it will just preserve our main color. And let's make the subject focus. So it makes the subject unfocus. And maybe let's increase the brush bra size and let's see how it looks. So, yep, maybe something like that. And for the brightness, maybe let's increase the brightness a little bit. All right, now I'll just click on OK and let's change it to soft light or out of an overlay or soft light. Uh, go for soft light. Let's go over here. Let's create a new layer. Let's fill it with white or black or any color. It doesn't matter. Let's go over here. Add a stroke. And yep, like uh, I'll just go for a dark stroke and make it like around six, five pixel. And let's change the fill to zero. Control T. Let's make it a little smaller. I just want that small border around. So yep, alright, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys in the next video.